Okay, talking about moving on, we have to also give a shout out to one of my favorite brands and the best and, you know, the greatest streetwear brand of all time. Uh, I think I'll probably stand on that. It's probably easy to suggest that, especially when you see the fucking quality of their work over the last few years and whatnot. Supreme are going to be released a Nike SB Darwin Low. And again, for me, this is another recognition of the great work that they do because they've chosen a model that is severely overlooked, a model that a lot of people don't really know too well and have presented at Nike SB form. And I think Supreme needs to be given a lot of credit for never taking the easy route because the easy route with SBs is Dunks, nowadays Jordans and whatever else model they have that's very popular. But Supreme always tend to go their own route when it comes to doing nike sb collaborations now that could be because nike sb tell them that they have to do the new thing maybe that's part of the process of the rollout maybe part of the rollout like with some limited edition shoes back in the day anyway i'm not sure if it's the same thing anymore now but back in the day if there was a collaboration for a shoe nike would prefer no if there was a new model they're going to put out nike would prefer to put it out first as a collaboration and then try to iterate it out. So if it was a if it was like a, a hybrid Air Max, they'd rather do a collaboration with Undefeated, with Neighborhood, with Pata, with Half, wherever it may be, and then have that be a limited edition, introduce that to the market, and then roll out all the GRs. Same thing what they did with Supreme with that Air Max DN, which is one of the worst Air Maxes ever, but we'll talk about that another day. And then you release the GRs afterwards. But I feel like it's a big risk for Supreme on the SB front because Supreme have such a rich history of amazing dunks they've done in the past. So a lot of kids, you know, are probably buying the SBs because of their great resale value and because they've got a lot of good, you know, they've got a lot of fucking um, good work on their books of what they've done previously. But I like that they always challenge themselves. They challenge the consumer with a new shape and a new model and set precedent out there and kind of do their own thing. So big up Supreme. So anyway, the blurb says Nike has worked with Nike SB on, so no, Supreme has worked with Nike SB on a version of the Darwin Low Spring 2024. The Nike Air Darwin was originally released in 1994. Supreme and Nike SB um, have reinterpreted the Darwin with a canvas upper. The shoe features a, a what's that? A phylon midsole, rubber outsole, leather collar, fleece collar, and tongue lining. Co-branded footbed, nylon webbing eyelets, webbing loop um, at heel, embroidered logo at eye stay, woven logo at type of the tongue, leather loop applique on the heel, made exclusive for Supreme. For Darwin Low, will be offered in four colorways. By the way, Supreme have the best product descriptions ever. Um, I think Palace still do that kind of cringy mandem talk on their product blurb and stuff, and it's fucking dumb and redacted but i feel like supreme do a really good job in terms of like you know describing <laughs> all the bits of the shoe and break it down in exhaustive detail it kind of makes you want to geek out on these sort of things anyway regardless the actual shoe itself is pretty cool the darwin essentially basically looks like a an sb version of the nike no of the jordan s of the jordan 11 right i think if i'm not mistaken a darwin kind of looks like a jordan 11 so if i if i go in here i think a darwin kind of looks like a jordan 11 you see, uh, uh, Jordan 11. That's what it kind of looks like. Oops, let's go back on here. So you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, so it's kind of a, it's kind of Jordan 11-y looking wise. As you can see from the picture that's available there on the screen. It kind of looks a bit like a Jordan 11. So I quite like how they sort of like flip that in that regard. Anyway, let's go back to the Supreme Blurb and let's see the other pictures of the other colorways. So you have a, a featured here with some satin pants that the person's wearing here on the, the thing. Um, you got this canvas upper, which looks pretty cool. And I love the backwards or the backwards swoosh on the on the shoe as well. Um, obviously, we liken a lot of that backwards stuff to um, the Travis Scott Jordans. But I like to have seen apply this way. I think it looks pretty cool there. There's also a version that comes in a camo. I think it's the same colorway they have on a backpack as well. It looks pretty cool. So you have there as well, featured with the socks available there and the long shorts. Oh, the black colorway looks super hard, isn't it? I'm not going to lie. The black colorway looks absolutely really tough. You've got this nice black nylon, um, total blacked out. You've got a nice little Supreme pull tab there on the side. And you've also got this massive crisp white swoosh on the back of the heel. It's also available in this lime green colorway as well also the lime green and the all black color are definitely my favorites i'm not gonna lie that lime green and all black color are definitely my favorites obviously the canvas upper is a good idea for skateboarding 
Um, it allows you to kind of, you know, do all your flip tricks and shit and whatnot without getting your shoes all bust up. They're probably going to be a little bit more um, durable, especially when they're grabbing against a grip tape all the time. So that makes a lot of sense. Um, I love the all blacked outsole and midsole. Um, sometimes with these type of shoes, it's nice to kind of break them up. But I kind of like how they're kind of all black on the outsole. Looking at the shape again, I know they kind of look like a Jordan 11, as I said before. I know they kind of got like Jordan 11 vibes to it, right? But, you know, another thing I kind of noticed with this um, Darwin, actually just checking this out now. I think this Darwin as well, weirdly, 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 weirdly. I don't sure if you guys agree, but it kind of looks a little bit similar to a, um, what do you call it? To a climbing shoe, to a bouldering shoe. Don't you get that kind of vibe? If you look at this shoe and you kind of squint, they kind of look a little bit, I know they obviously got a similar silhouette to a Jordan 11, but they look a little bit similar to like bouldering shoes. Um, I'm sure most of you guys know people in your community who do bouldering because it's becoming one of the fastest growing sort of like things people do in their spare time. Uh, I see a lot of my friends get into that or flipping snooker, no sorry snooker, playing golf. But I feel like bouldering shoes have that kind of similar sort of vibe. So they kind of have a bit of a bouldery shoe vibe about them, right? As you can see here, these bouldering shoes they do when you're climbing and shit. So they kind of got a bit of that feel to them as well. So that's pretty cool, which makes sense as well because I'd imagine if you're going to design... If you're going to design a perfect skateboarding shoe, maybe you would borrow some elements of bouldering shoes because bouldering shoes probably have a lot of grip underneath, right? They're probably made of some sort of composite, some sort of rubber composite that kind of allows it to stick and to grip on the boulders a lot easier than regular sneakers, low profile, whatever it may be. And those things will also be beneficial if you're going to create a really good sticky um, you know, skateboarding shoe to kind of, you know, stick on the grip tape on the deck, wherever it may be. So maybe that's where the inspiration comes from. Who knows? I'm just rambling here. Obviously got them in the neon. Nice. I like the way they look there. And they've also got them in the camo that's also available. So they look pretty cool. I think they're going to be dropping this Thursday. So check them out on Supreme website if you like them. For me personally, I'd go for the all blacks and the greens. If you're ever wondering which would be my pick, I definitely say the lime greens and the all black are definitely my favorites. And Supreme does it again. Supreme does it again. They always do it. They always smash it. And I love it. I absolutely love it.